of Black Magic TV where we have our boy the return <laughs> the redemption yeah dude. <laughs> the redemption of fucking Jay Rigsby Big Rigs upholstery who fuck yeah did the reveal of the chairs Jay reupholstered these chairs for me it was an I honor. tried to give him money, and he said, no, I don't want money. <laughs> I want turn I just, signals. <laughs> I, well, you, yeah, I got turn signals. <laughs> but he said, I just want a shot at redemption. <laughs> Listen, the camera scares me a little bit. <laughs> well, I don't know why. You got, don't worry about the camera. All right, so let's talk about it. Let's talk about what has happened since last time you were here. Oh, a lot of shit. Um, so quit working. Quit your job. Two of them. <laughs> Quit working at Vintage Fabrication. Uh, went to R and S. Another upholstery. Another shop. Another upholstery shop. Yep. And now I'm working on my own. Yeah, and you doing said upholstery. Screw those people too. Fuck them both. Fuck them both. <laughs> Not really. I don't have no. any uh, hard feelings towards either one of them, but. Yeah, I think that's sort of like in that business. That's sort of the norm. Yeah. Like, it's a thing that like is mostly. It only requires two things, a glue gun and a sewing machine. Yes, well, You dude. know what I mean? Like Easy. For, the, for the most part, it requires a glue gun and a sewing machine. That's the big and two. And an air yeah. compressor. Yep. So if you have those three things and you have a place that you can work, you don't really yeah, need... Yeah, you can figure it out. You can figure it out. For sure. That was definitely a motivating factor with yeah, getting in the upholstery. Yeah, because you got all your own shit, so... yeah. That's sick. And how's it going? It's been good. Yeah, you've been kicking out headlines. I'm not homeless yet, so. <laughs> yeah, you're doing fine. Yeah, I think you're doing fine. You're yeah, I feel like I'm doing, doing pretty good. 72 headliners a week. So. <laughs> a lot of headliners, yeah. But dude, they're, that's that money. That's that easy money. Yeah, they're like low-hanging fruit in the upholstery world. Yeah. So. Hey, low-hanging fruit pays the bills. Right. So I'd do them all. <laughs> yeah. Right, we already had this discussion. <laughs> Line them up to where you do yeah, do headliners. Once you can get to where you can do two headliners a day, then you're rocking and rolling. Yeah, I've and done, I think it, I've done I think, it before. Yeah. yeah, I think you can get there. Yeah, and once you get a little bigger, you'll be able to get a bigger space. You know That's what I true. mean? And once you have more space, then you can have a car sitting there and a car sitting there. Yeah, which would be not, sick. Yeah, and it's not like. Drop Definitely. it off today, pick it up today, get it the hell out of here. You'll be able to, like, hey, bring this by. It'll be ready tomorrow. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right. Well, what else? Fuck, dude. Tell shit. me about these uh, seats. Episode's over. No, episode's, yeah, no <laughs> shit. Here we go That's again, it. Folks. That's it, guys. Fucking episode's <laughs> over. No, nah, dude. Yeah, these seats are sick. Um, I'm pretty happy with how they turned out. No, I think they're killer. Everybody that's seen them, you know, thinks they're bitching. They were already van seats. And Jay just kind of dismantled them and then used the pattern that was here. And then I went and bought, you know, really bitching upholstery to have it upholstered with. Yes, very nice. Because I know what's up. I mean, it's vinyl, but it really does feel like leather, though. Yeah, dude, this has, like, nice texture to it. Yeah. For, it's not all it, like it, For the amount of fucking money I had to pay for it, it's yeah. better. Yeah. Yeah, I thought it was <laughs> leather at first. Like, Jesus. Yeah, no, these are pretty sick. They're, I haven't ever done seats like this before because they don't, like, actually suck to the foam in the back. It kind of, like, floats over it. Right. So that was definitely interesting to figure out, but... You had something different, right? Yeah. And then you definitely. got Russ's seat going. Yeah, Russ's seat's moving along. That's really fucking hot still. Oh, shit. Don't want to do that. Uh, He's getting the full package. Custom yeah. foam, fucking cup holders. Yeah, so he, the whole he deal. decided to replace the phone, Russ. I know you're watching, Russ. <laughs> At a minimum, you're listening. Spend all that money, <laughs> don't replace the damn rotten phone in his ass, <laughs> old ass seat. That's about a truck driver for you, though. Yeah, I guess that's They'll true. They'll drive all that money. They, he, but he would replace the phone if it was in the seat for the big truck. Yeah, <laughs> I, guess, I guess, yeah. Well, how close is that thing? Um, so I got the pattern all done. I just have to cut it out of the vinyl and then 
start selling it. So you'll be doing that tomorrow then? Yeah. Sick. Yep. So he's getting close. How many more seats you got lined up? I got one other bench seat. I got two moped seats and oh, sick. and two scooter seats, but I'm just putting the covers on. That's cool. Yep. Whose scooter yeah. seats are they? Some random, <laughs> some random, random, some random awesome. guy from Lee Summit, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it uh, Trenton? No, but his scooters are sick. I'm, yeah, I'm a big fan. Are sick. A yeah. big fan of the scooters. His scooters are sick. I thought he might be having you do a seat. I hope he does. I hope I would, so too. I would be honored. That would for be real. sick. Yeah. Um. Well, shit. I was. I had another question about upholstery to ask you, but it's just. Oh, we gotta get the Dodge seats. Yeah. Rocking because we're gonna build that upholstery in the Dodge. You know. It's gonna I mean? be sick too. The yeah. Lock nar. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Almost have all the pieces reassembled. Nice. I guess it's fucking. I've been to seven junkyards in the last week. Jeez. And I've, yeah. Bought doors that didn't work. I bought a door that's wrong. This fucking Dodge, man, they're so hard, dude. That's they really of... are. It just doesn't make any sense. to Like, I understand why they've gone bankrupt or had to sell so many times. Because the way they do shit, it's just. Yeah. Like, there's parts on the van where I've seen seven different versions of it. That's insane. Yeah, to where it's like, like the inner structure of the core support. Like, they're all the same on the GM <laughs> yeah. van. Yeah, dude. Every single, depending on what exact iteration you have, differs, like, which ones they are. And it's like, what the fuck, man? Yeah. Like, out of the big three, Dodge would probably be my last pick. <laughs> Not yeah. because they look cool, but just because of working on them and it's just hard finding to, shit for them. It's hard to find the parts. And that's why, yeah. I mean, it's it's been discouraging, to say the least. I started, I hosed off the, uh, I power washed the, my LS motor I've had sitting on the stand forever. Yeah, dude, I saw that. I gotta tow the Chevy to the shop so I can start working on it. Maybe that'll motivate me. But nice. I still need bunch of shit for that that's yeah it's a big undertaking doing the ls in it yeah but if i can get it done like that thing's gonna be done to a point like if it's in the middle of winter and i get it done i can still drive it yeah fuck because it, dude. it's gonna have a heater and yeah that's i'm trying like... to put air conditioning in it too nice nice i thought about i mean i you can convert them to electric windows and shit because they came with electric windows in the later model yeah because technically fuck i have it. a later model front end Oh, nice. That I'm what, putting on What it. year is that one? Uh, mine's a 75. 75. But I had to get a later front clip to put right, on. Right, because your frame was bent or something? Well, just everything. It had all been all crashed up. Bam. So I just chopped off the whole front section of another van, of an <laughs> RV. <laughs> That's sick, dude. It took the doors. But I got to get working on it. But I want to try to... I'm going to start doing the motor. And then I'm going to wrangle getting the Dodge. I got to take the Dodge out to Dave Sprinkles here in a week or two to do the, uh, to build the interior. The woodwork. The woodworking. And then we got to figure out how to like put that button tough. Get the tough. Cool. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Something. Dude, we got to do something cool. I'd be stoked. What, uh, I don't know. Tell me something good, dog. What's up? Tell me. Get into it here, baby. They're worried about that camera. Know. Tell the people what the time it is, Jay. It's What's the name like of the shop? 605. Uh, Big Rigs Upholstery. My shop? Yeah. Yeah, Big Rigs, Tell them. Big Rigs Upholstery in Independence, Missouri. And right off 570 it. and Nolan Road. Yep, he's right there. And you just hit him up on... Uh, I'll drop the Instagram link down there. Facebook, Instagram. Yep. I know you told me Facebook, you get a lot of hits off of them. Yeah, which is dude. Cool. Yeah. Uh, and it makes sense because I, your ad is the only upholstery ad I've ever seen on Marketplace. Nice. I realized so, that one. Yeah, day. you're technically not supposed to, but I'm mm -hmm. gonna do it till I can't. You're not supposed to sell services on Marketplace. Well, people do it all the time. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's, you're still not supposed to technically. Well, yeah, it's. Uh, oh, okay. Are you worried about the meta police <laughs> get you, dog? Like, I'm uh, supposed, there's a lot of things know. I'm not supposed to do. I <laughs> yeah, do that's true. Yeah, uh, Marketplace is definitely the the breadwinner, I guess. Brings me most of my jobs. 
And then Instagram, word of mouth. I'm finally getting to a point that some people that I've done work for are starting to come back for other stuff, so. Yeah, getting different parts of it. Like, because I know you did a couple of headliners that were, like, customized. Right. I was wondering if those people would come back and, uh... Yeah, and get, finish the interior. Get something else yeah. done. Yeah, That's like that, cool. that one that I did in Velvet, he's gonna he's came back and I did the A pillars and then just basically gonna work my way down, probably. Oh sick. Did yeah. you just As cover the A pillars? Yeah, just instead of purple it was in black uh velvet. Sick. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And that's that crushed velvet that has the like the twisties yeah, in it, right? Yeah, it's pretty sweet looking. Yeah, yeah. That's what we need to put in the Astro, I think. Yeah. With like the yeah. blue. The blue That'd be pretty sweet. Yeah, we need to get that. We need to do that, like, soon. Yeah. We, <laughs> we should, dude. Soon. And we'll video it. That'll be a cool video. Yeah, for sure. And right after I got done telling you, like, I ain't going to do no videos no more. <laughs> 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 We're going to do this video. No, it'll be cool. I want to, uh, I'm really thinking about, I don't know, dude. There's there's one that I've been eyeing in Topeka, and the people aren't responding to me, so it's, that's a, not a great sign. But it's an Astro. It's like an LS model. Ooh. So it's but it's got the same miles, like one hundred thirty-eight thousand, because that's what the mine has on it now. Because it only had one hundred and three when I got it. Damn. But uh, I've had it for like a year and a half, and I drove it every day, you know. But I I've been eyeballing that thing, trying to see if these people will come off that. Because if they will, then I might sell the the OG Damn. Astro, and that's sick. And deal with the later model one. But the old ones look so much better. Yeah, the front end is the like front end is much better. Shit, yeah. Yeah, I agree. But who knows? I'll probably just keep that thing. I want to lower it. Yeah, it'd be a but good that one lowering for it. kit's expensive, so it's like <laughs> yeah, a commitment that... to do. You know what I mean? But it would Put be some badass. Put some fucking side pipes on it, like a. I don't remember who did it. <laughs> didn't hoodie? Didn't yeah. Ryan? Yeah, yeah some... Ryan's. He's supposed to be getting some dodge. I don't know. He'd be bullshitting sometimes. But he had some Dodge that he was going to buy, and I haven't heard anything else about it lately. Damn. I seen that other Dodge at the junkyard the other day. I was th- really thinking about heisting the dude's door off of it, because it was the door I needed. Mm. That picture I sent to you. Oh, you saw that one at the junkyard. Yeah, that was at, in KCK. Oh, I still, damn. I was walking around the junkyard asking people, like, yo, is that your Dodge van outside? And it wasn't nobody. So I don't know if somebody had a cool van and they sold it to somebody for a work van or something. I don't know. Damn. It, it happens, really dude. odd. Apparently my van was used as a work van before I got it. Not from Ty, but from whoever had it before that. Yeah. I'd believe it. Which is fucking weird. <laughs> it's just, it is weird for yours because it has a full-blown... Usually they rip all that shit, shit out if they're going to do that with it. Yeah, so that's why it doesn't... Usually they have like a little fucking bar or something in the back and like other shit inside there and i think that's why the back's so empty yeah. it's because they're fucking working out of that stuff huh? yeah for real i mean i'm i appreciate being able to customize it but it'd be cool if it was all original hop caps though yeah and that was that's the but some of that shit's just cheap particle board so it would just be rotted away that's true i mean it's sick where you're gonna be in the new rolling heavy magazine <laughs> yeah that's the dude very fucking sick the next the next issue will have uh we decided that as we were looking at Jay's van after we shot it on this rainy, just a rainy ass day, because we were trying to get it done for the last issue, and it was raining, and I didn't know where to shoot it, and I said, I got the perfect idea, so we went to this cemetery up the road, and the cemetery has this giant statue of the crucifixion. And it's got, like, Jesus on the cross, and then it has, like, followers around him. I think it's probably Mary Magdalene or something. I don't know who it's supposed to be. It ain't like it's some, yeah. like, recreation of real life. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, who would know what happened that day? But, like, there's these people around, like, the other, like, statues where they're, like, kneeling. And so I, I lined Jay's van up and we shot it right there. And then he it turned out he had the uh I got a Jesus tapestry. Yeah, he's got a Jesus tapestry. So we decided to to name it uh Jehovah. And we're gonna let her can I get a witness real big. <laughs> also relevant it. for it being an independence van. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of Jehovah's Witnesses out there. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, probably so. There used to be a lot out here in KCK. I don't know if there still are. Hmm. My mom knew a lady that was a Jehovah's Witness. 
man. It's all. I worked with a guy. Do they have cell phones? He did. They just didn't. His thing was they don't celebrate holidays. I guess like Christmas. I thought they didn't watch TV and and shit either. I don't know. That might change. I worked for a Seventh Day Seventh Day Adventist. (laughs) Hmm. When I was in high school at this auto shop, Canaan Auto Repair. Nice. Yo, dog. These people, the dude I worked for that like ran the shop for this, like, there's basically like this rich dude that like built the church, had all these like businesses and shit. And he took care of like all the people that went to the church. They all worked for him. It was weird. That's true. But like this dude, Dale was awesome. He was like, they, they had to wear long sleeves. Mm. They had to wear pants. The women all had, if they wore dresses or skirts, they had to be to the ankle. Oh, shit. (laughs) So it's like a lot of shit for, I don't know the exact thing that they celebrate, but I knew like he couldn't own a television. Damn. As part of it. Like they didn't own TVs. So you'd catch him out somewhere. Like he'd be out like (laughs) somewhere and you'd watch and he'd be like, just standing there staring at the TV, Dale. Well, he's like, "What the fuck are you doing?" And he's like, "Fucking observing I'm on television." I was like, "What the <laughs> fuck, dude?" And it was me and this Korean dude and him, and the Korean dude was ruled. I used to just always like, he had a pet dog, so I was like eighteen, seventeen. I was like, "Are you like gonna eat that thing or something?" He's like, "No, that's not fucking shit, <laughs> oh, shit dude. <laughs> We're gonna do that." I, like, oh, well, I don't know, but. Those Seventh Day Adventists were something else, dude. They had like a pizzeria. Hmm. They had the auto shop. I think they owned a hotel. Damn, it was wild, dude. And they all they got money. Yeah. Then one of the ladies, the lady that used to run the pizza shop when Mm -hmm. I was on parole, she got she's right. It's like the week I was getting off parole, I had to go up there a bunch. And she had started working at the parole office. And she Damn, just kept looking crazy. at me, and I'm like, eh, I'm not going to say anything. <laughs> you know who I am. Uh, yeah, I didn't want awkward. her to go tell Dale and him be disappointed or something. You Damn. Know I mean? Like, all these years later, look how, look how this guy <laughs> Look what happened. But I, that, that guy taught me a lot about cars working there. Dude, honestly. that's sick. Yeah, it was a cool job. Okay. It was a cool job. I did brakes. I did oil changes, tires. They started letting me do other stuff. Nice. I don't remember why I quit. Oh, I remember why I quit because that guy found some jack leg way to not pay overtime, and I got pissed oh, off and was yeah. like, well, "I'm not there. working." I was like working forty five hours. Yes, a week dude, I hate that shit. Overtime, so I was like, "No, I'm good." Yeah, I did that too. It'll happen. What did you do before you? Dude, I've had every fucking job. Yeah. I'm a I'm a notorious job hopper, so Yeah. Yeah. Actually, dude, I worked at an upholstery shop way before I did any other like automotive stuff. It was back when I had that blue iron head. Yeah. Um I worked at Top King out here in Kansas City, Kansas. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I was basically just like installing leather seat covers and stuff and then got my first taste of sewing there and stuff. Yeah, that's when I put that seat on your bike and shit, right? It was a little bit after that, a little bit after that. Oh, okay, because you got the iron head. So I wrecked that. You got that (laughs) from the dude that I painted it for. Yeah, yeah. And then from there, you traded that to Andy. Right, for his Sportster. And then that's, that's right when you first got with your old lady, too, right? Yeah, well, I mean, I was, we were together whenever I had the... The blue bike? Yeah. Yeah. And the, and that first Sportster, too. But, um... Yeah, dude, I've been a fucking delivery driver. Uh, I did canvassing, like marketing or whatever, fucking customer oh, service. Done that. A couple fast foods. That's the worst. <laughs> they they you, they sell you on like this whole thing, and they tell you to dress nice. You show up, and then you're like standing in front of a high dude, dude trying to rip people off. You're like, yeah. this is fucked. This is just a that job thing. actually kind of kicked ass though, because uh, they didn't like keep close tabs on us, and so basically they're like. I was doing it for siding. They were like, go to this neighborhood and like go around and pass out flyers and try to get a lead. And so basically I like, try to sell them to get an appointment or whatever. But I'd just go out there, take a picture of the house, and then just like fucking drive home or <laughs> go skate or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Let's be honest. Good times. You just went and got stoned. <laughs> yeah, dude, I fucked off. <laughs> you were just getting stoned. Hey, I did get some, though. I did get some leads. That's cool. Enough, they, you enough to keep regardless? the job. Yeah. Paid but me you got hourly. a bonus if you got a lead. Right, yep. That's cool. Look at you now. You found the best job. Yeah, you can dude. get stoned 
and go to work. If I you choose work. not to now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Until the work. Isn't work's that done. crazy? You used to go to work high every day, and then you yeah, work for yourself, and true. you decided not to. I would get waste high a lot anymore. of fucking time looking for a tool that's in my hand or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but, that's what happens. No, dude, I loved doing upholstery when I was at Top King. I was, like, getting pretty into it, but I just wasn't making enough money there, and I got an opportunity to go back to one of my other jobs paying more, so I just was like, fuck it. I gotta do what I gotta do. Yeah, Top King's been around forever. Yeah. I had a 90... My first car was a 91 extended cab S10. Nice. Two-tone, black and gray. And my grandpa had owned it originally before my parents got it, and... It uh, it it hailed real bad and it just destroyed the roof. So he kept the insurance money instead of getting because it was supposed oh, to get shit. the cab replaced. <laughs> right. So he kept the insurance money, took it to Top King, and had them put a Cadillac Landau top on it. No way, with dude. a moonroof, dude. So my what? first car was this S10 with <laughs> a rag sick, top dude. and a moonroof, dude. <laughs> That's so sick. That I would sick. love to see that. It was a yeah. sick S10. I don't even think I have a photo of it. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Then after that, I started getting, I got real Honda with it. Oh, yeah, I got the fucking Civics. Yeah, CRX. I did CRX. I used to drag race and a couple hatchbacks. I'm kind of getting into them a little bit. Not like way into it, but my uh, taste is definitely. This dude, I knew. I got that tax money, dog, and I I, th- I really thought about buying this 92 hatchback that my dude, homie Richard sick. had, but I was yeah. like, I. I gotta save this money. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to buy a shop right now. Well, rent, borrow, rent one. Yeah. I'm trying to do, get my thing rock, rocking and rolling, you know. Fuck yeah, dude. I'm trying to get on my rig status. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I just want somewhere to, I get. A, I got enough side work that I could have my own place to do it at on the side, you know what I mean? Instead of trying to hustle yeah. it through work and. Yeah, I feel that. That's basically where I was at. It's like I could go to work and do headliners and make like not more than 120 or however many, you know, dollars, or I could just do it at my own and keep all the money. Right, because the, <laughs> the materials is limit is is not a lot, you know. No, you buy that glue by the gallon. Yeah, and it don't take much glue to do a headliner. No, it's like I think it's like less than five bucks worth of glue for a headliner. Yeah, I mean, have you even gone through a whole gallon of glue since you've been doing it? Oh, dude, I've actually gone through like four. No shit. Yeah, yeah. but I've done a lot of them. I don't post every headliner. Yeah, you've, been, you've done <laughs> I, a I lot. I feel like though. people would be like, I don't know, over it if I posted them every day. Yeah. Well, that's yeah. You're right. I mean, but I do the opposite. I put like a bajillion clips up as a podcast, like every every day. Yeah. Now I got some. I got it set up to where there's this deal that like. <laughs> Puts them out like dude. I every... see your shorts with your clickbait fucking. Yeah, 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 dude. That's all AI made, dog. It's <laughs> That's hilarious. And I just have go on that thing, and I just go to I schedule when I want to post it on each one, and then I hit schedule, boom, and then it puts it on TikTok, uh, uh, X, <laughs> Instagram, hilarious, dude. Facebook. And YouTube puts, nice. them up, puts it up on dude, all. Dude, you get me sometimes. If it's an episode I haven't seen that's got like some wild ass fucking caption, like what? Yeah, watch your little short. Yeah, there was <laughs> one about like bed bugs and mosquitoes that Mike Baldwin was talking about. I never got so many comments. People being like, "Are you what is it, Ebola fucking or whatever it is? Is <laughs> malaria a uh, conspiracy theory?" I'm like, I I don't think you listened to it. And after like twelve comments, I just told the dude like. Dude, just go watch the whole episode. That's not how this is supposed to work. I'm like, I don't know. It seems like it works pretty fucking good, dude. Because, like, you're the only person complaining. That's hilarious. A lot of people have seen it, and you're the only guy who's mad about it. Which is weird. Yeah. But, dude, I got followed by some, like... It's, like, weird. Like, there's this dude, Superhuman. You know, Superhuman? I don't. He's, like, this juggalo dude. Nice. He might have... I don't want to offend him and say he's special needs. I wouldn't say that. He's he's fucked up. You know what I mean? Yeah, like he's, he's a, a, a unique person. <laughs> yeah, he's he's got something. For there's sure. something up with him. Like, right. have you seen that kid that cooks? And he's like, <laughs> and we throw it in the bag. And like <laughs> he's he's fucked up like that guy. Like maybe he's autistic or something. I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with the guy. There's nice. nothing wrong with him. He just got something a little sideways about him. Yeah, but he like. <laughs> 
goes into his yard and he like fucking he every he's like today we're gonna power bomb through a folding table with razor blades oh, and legos dude, you know yeah. what i mean it's like, yeah what? those are crazy and he dude just goes, this is for all the juggalos and juggalettes uh, and mm-hmm. fuck this shit and then he like jumps through like a table nice, or that's something sick, dude. or onto a microwave that's covered in tags you know <laughs> it's fucking great dude but that yeah, guy followed sick. me on instagram the other day damn, I, was, I was like oh god damn superhuman just follow me everybody's like what i was like fucking superhuman dude you don't know this guy dude he's like that <laughs> nice. guy's that's like a celebrity to me. Yeah, that's sick, dude. That is sick. It's pretty cool when people like that follow you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Sometimes you get caught off guard. Like, Damn. Yeah. That's legit. That happened to me. Dude, going times. back to the Rolling Heavy thing, um, I don't know how I got into the Rolling Heavy or like found out about it or whatever, but it was like before I had a cool van. I think I had my Aerostar or something. Um, but like Alex or somebody told me about it. And I ordered the first issue, or it wasn't their first issue, but mine. And it had Eric's van in it, the Poontang Boomerang. And I remember being like, that was my favorite van in it. And I was like, fuck, dude, that van's from Kansas City. Like, who owns this thing? There's no way I could ever fucking be around this guy. And then got to fucking hang out with him and shit and see him at shows. Came full circle. Yeah, Yeah. Eric. And then my van's going to be in Rolling Heavy. Yeah. It's crazy. And my <laughs> and I took the photos and my shit ain't been in there at all. <laughs> yeah, dude. What the fuck? I guess I yeah, just wait, take wait, photos no, of my own van. Yeah, dude. You gotta wait for the Chevy. I'll put them all in there. I'll put the Loch Nar up in there. It deserves it. Yeah. Yeah, Eric's my. I mean, really, he's probably my tightest homie at this point. He's cool, longest, dude. Yeah, that's sick. Longest, tightest homie. Fuck yeah. I have friends that are, I don't even have to say Titus, I guess he's the motherfucker I've been around the most in my adult life. He's like my big brother. Nice. Really. You know what I mean? Because he's older than me by like, shit, almost, damn, I feel like he's, fuck, I don't know how old he is. I know he's in his 50s. Damn. So it's at least 10 years. Wow. That's a little more than that, I think. Yeah. Might be close to like twenty. Fuck yeah! Somewhere That's a in there. Good dude to have in your corner. Yeah, yeah. Eric's the dog. He rules. We built a lot of rad <laughs> cars. We built cars you probably never even seen. Probably, dude. I'd love to see him. The first day I met him and Dave, I was at a. Uh, I had been emailing with Todd, who was when he was still alive. He was the president of the the Punk Rods. Right. And I've been emailing him. Because he had this thing called American Greaser Supply. So back then, I had like the craziest pompadour. Nice. And I used that hair grease. And I couldn't get it when I was in Wyoming going to school. So I, I emailed them and was like, yo, is there anywhere I could get this online or whatever? And he's like, oh, I don't sell it like that. But I will go here and get it from this website. Nice. And then he's like, what are you doing in Wyoming? I was like, oh, I'm at this automotive school and shit. So we just hit it off. So I had no idea what he looked like, no nothing. Right. And for like, I didn't even have a computer, dog. This is like before <laughs> you could check an email on your phone or Shit, anything. Dude. Yeah. So I used to have to go after school. I would go to the public library to get on the internet. Yeah. To respond to <laughs> an email from Todd. Damn. And then like through that of like. Virtually almost the whole time for like nine months of talking to him, and uh, he linked me up with like a member of the club was going to be in Denver at this event, so I went down there and met nice. Whiskey, mm-hmm. and she's passed away now too, but she was a pinstriper, so I met her, and then when I came back from school, Todd and I were still emailing, and he's like, hey. We're going to have uh, this thing at this coffee shop over is at the coffee break that was over on Truce. Nice. He's like, so come come up here and meet meet everybody. Because by then he had started being like, yo, would you want to be? Yeah, you're like, are, be are, in are the you club. interested in, in doing this nice. sort of deal? Because I was way younger than anybody else. Right. And I was like 23. Damn. And uh, so I went up there and I met Dave and Eric and 
they were like bullshit and it's like well, what are you guys doing I'm like well we were gonna go try to chop the top on his car and dave was like you probably know how to do that right you just went to college and i was like yeah I like, yeah. and I don't fucking know what I was doing. Yeah. But I went down there and was just like, yeah, give me that Salzal. And just like started to whacking. Town. We just whacked Fuck up. It, dude. We just <laughs> cut apart this Model A. And I was just like, oh, shit. But we put it yeah. up on the back That's sick, dude. That's pretty pretty heavy. Yeah, it was pretty <laughs> heavy. But I'm still friends with him and Dave. Yeah. That's Todd's tight. dead. Whiskey died. Who else is? That's about it. Yeah. I think everybody else is still alive for the most part. Oh no, Wiggins. R.I.P. John Wiggins. Yeah. That's the homie that painted. Yeah. But his car, he had this like bitchin' Ford that was like all lime green with orange flames. And I found the dude that has it. Damn. I met him at Iron Invasion two years ago. That's sick. And he is rad as hell. And Fuck so yeah. me and him became homies. But I've been trying to get him to come to town in that car because it's like <laughs> Yeah, I never met him, but I've heard a lot about his work and stuff. Yeah, he he ruled. He was a, fucked. He was <laughs> yeah. totally fucked, dude. He's a totally fucked dude that was always yeah. doing fucked things. <laughs> oh, boy. And nobody realized it. Oh, damn. But in, like, the best possible way. He's He was so sick. Yeah. He used to fuck with me. Because I, when, I when I got clean and got out of jail, I was, like, working some bullshit job down in... Uh, I had gone from one thing to another, and then I was like, fucking, I don't know, dude. I was like, I think I was welding at this, like, dishwasher. They'd place them in, like, oh, industrial shit. dishwashers in Edwardsville. It sucked. I was TIG welding. I can TIG weld, but it, just like, this is whack. And then one day, like, that dude called me every day when I got out of jail. Damn, like, that's Even when up. I was waiting to get sentenced or whatever. Mm-hmm. Every day, Wiggins called me. And then finally one day he called me. He's like, dude, just... Come to work out here. We'll put you to work. So I went to work out there for him and Tom. Uh, right by your house. Oh, nice. Creative Classics. That was right there Sick. on 23rd yeah, in, yeah. in, in uh, Nolan. But there'd be crackheads all the time coming up to the shop. <laughs> and then John would just be like, you were just like that guy, man. God, fuck you. <laughs> you know? Like, shit, you're that. right. <laughs> yeah. It's like, well, yeah, that's what it was. Like, shit. Yeah, you're, you ain't wrong. <laughs> yeah. I was kind of like that guy. Dude, these are way more comfortable. Than yeah, the dude, last they're good. Years. This is pretty comfy I like them. sitting. I'm stoked on these. Thank you again, dude. I appreciate I'm that. happy to do. Them. So, guys, if you need seats, hit up Jay because he sponsored this shit. So, we yeah, need that. we gotta <laughs> make that money if I want to keep getting sponsored here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, I've fucking I've listened to a lot of episodes, so I yeah, got my share. I guess. Well, no, but I mean, you know, I want people to get their upholstery done by you. Oh, I, don't, sexy. I would like. You can't really see 100%, how man. fucking awesome they are. I also have to like the sta- I The stands I made were pretty jaunty. Yeah, <laughs> so I need I to got, redo that. That one's a little. Tune. That one's a little rock and roll, and I don't understand why because it sat on the floor perfectly huh. at work. So. But I don't think you fall over. No. I might move that one over here so that way, like, some random person <laughs> like can come over back. Like, oh, if I can just eat it back. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Well, what else is up? Tell me about. What do you want to know? I don't know. You tell me, dude. <laughs> you tell me what you want me to know. I don't know. What's up with the. Uh, what was that show you went to the other night? Oh, Hooded Grave. It's, yeah. um, so it's got Neil from Interalter, Rue from Interalter, and, uh, Steven. And so Interalter's just like a doom band. And they yeah. are really fucking sick. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then it's got Jake from Keith Mountain. Um, sick. And then some guy, I don't know, playing drums, but basically Interalter and Keith Mountain are like. It's not Dill from Keith Mountain. No, he doesn't play drums in the in that one for some reason. Yeah, because <laughs> he plays drums in every other band. Yeah, he's in Spine. He's, he's in, in a Keith shitload Mountain. of bands. Yeah, he's in Inner Altar. He's in uh, he's in another band too, I think. Yeah, he's basically like the drummer. But Span, a uh, Spine is like they're, they're like, kind of a, a big, big deal, deal yeah. in the hardcore world. They got I haven't kept up with them too much, but I know they got signed to like Bridge Nine Records or something. Yeah, yeah. So they might be focusing on that now. I don't know. Yeah. Because yeah. they've been like touring that, a lot. That was an interesting one because uh, 
originally their drummer didn't live in town. He, like, lived in Chicago. And they would, like, from what I heard, they'd, like, make songs on band camp or something, like, send them back and forth. Weird. And then they'd just get together and, like, practice before the show real quick and fucking play. Huh. Yeah. Yeah, that checks out. It is hardcore music, so. <laughs> yeah, I guess I've seen them. They're good. I've seen them play quite a few times. Oh, yeah, they're sick. Definitely. I wonder if that guy, are some of the guys not from Kansas City or something and end up here? I don't know, see, I'm not sure. I don't know. I know, they're one of those bands that, like, all the skinhead dudes go see, like, the sharp skinhead guys, you know what I mean? Yeah, fuck yeah. Who are it's just, like... That whole subculture, <laughs> I grew up around it, but it's like, dude, chill out, bro. Like... Yeah. It's okay to smile, you know? I mean? like, <laughs> yeah, real fucking cool. serious. Like, yeah, they're always, like... Every time you see sharps at, like, a fucking hard, tough guy hardcore show, they're all... It's like, okay. Yeah, dude. And Chill out. You're 65. Fucking spin, spin kicking and shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're trying to spin kick, throw a hip out. Like, Yeah. Some of the old punk bands you go see them, it's like see looking at the fucking retirement village. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, when I'm looking at my phone, you're supposed to keep oh, talking. Okay. Me, it. <laughs> I thought you'd walls. like put in, put in some music in there. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, was, I, I had a, a medium, no, no, I had no. an important message to respond to. But yeah, hardcore's pretty hardcore. Yeah, I mean, you're you're like heavy stoner rock guy, right? Like that's your main. Yeah, I got I got into stoner rock before I ever got into hardcore, but I definitely went through my phase of like really being into hardcore. Yeah. Now, like, dude, I just I don't give a fuck. I like whatever I like. Yeah. It don't matter. I mean, you're like probably start out like listening to like heavy metal and shit though. Yeah. As a kid. Um. Yeah, dude. My brother had like a fucking iPod, and I remember I used to go like steal it, and he had Slayer on it. <laughs> Rain and Blood. Yeah. He had like a bunch of other classic rock, like Van Halen and shit, stuff that I wasn't super into at that time. But like, fucking Rain and Blood and like, uh, I'm trying to think what else he had on there. Probably Metallica. Yeah. Megadeth. That shit really got me. Yeah. That's where it started. And then I got into skating and rollerblading. That's when I found out about Sleep and like Pentagram and all those Doom bands and stuff, and started really getting into Sabbath. Yeah. Yeah, I, I fucking love that stuff, but I'm like, it's definitely punk rock. Like, that's what got me. That's what got your, got your like, goat I first. Do, I fucking love punk rock so much still. Yeah. Like, still that's to sick. this day. Like, and I, you know, I love, there's certain stoner rock bands I still love to listen to, but a lot of that, it's like, if you're not stoned, it's not. Yeah, I was it's actually like a dude, vibe that but, you like have to like have. Yeah, true. I got into it before I ever smoked weed though. That's like straight yeah. edge. But dude, for me, like stoner rock and doom metal, it's like the fucking seeing it live and the guitars are so fucking loud that you can like feel them. That's the shit that gets me. And it gets me like I don't know. I love it. Yeah, I mean, I got to see Sleep. I saw Sleep out in Lawrence. Dude, a few I, years I ago. was there too. Yeah. That was sick. We rode our bike. No, we didn't. I think did we ride our bikes out there? I don't remember if we did or not. I was with my uh my my guy Troy, my sponsor. Nice. We went out there. That was sick. I remember a bunch of people kept talking to me. <laughs> Damn. And like at one point I just looked at them and was like, Hey, will you shut up? Like I've waited a lo- a long, <laughs> long time. Like Yeah. To see this band. Yeah. And you're talking. <laughs> yeah, that's like, like, shut up. Yeah, dude, we almost, I almost got, like, didn't get to go or something. I don't remember what it was. That's probably, like, didn't have the money or some shit, but somehow yeah. it all came together. I got to go, which is sick, because it's, like, a once-in-a-lifetime band to see. Yeah, I don't think they've ever been back since then. No. Yeah, they don't, I don't think those guys can get along for more than once a decade. <laughs> like, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, well, they both have sig- uh, Al bands, and uh, yeah, yeah. They got High Om and yeah. I've seen High on Fire a shit a shitload of times. Yeah, that's sick. They Fuck yeah, yeah. Matt yeah, Pike's hike. cool. He's got cars and shit too. Yeah, yeah. He's got to have somewhere to hide all those capital gains he makes. <laughs> up all those 
sleep records, you know? <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> all those big, all that big record industry uh, money they're making. They always like they tell the story though that the, all the money they made from dope smoker they spent it on their amps and weed mm-hmm. <laughs> or some shit. Yeah, they have insane <laughs> gear. Like yeah. the gear that they use to play in that band is just crazy. It's like those super oh, yeah. rare cabinets and amp heads and and custom made shit. Yeah. yeah. Which is sick. What better way to... I mean, I buy That's tools the, all the time, so... Yeah, dude, you gotta invest in your fucking yeah. thing. Look at it right I'm, here. I mean, I've bought all this crap, so... You know. You gotta put it back in. Anytime you I have extra money, out what you put in. Buy a little bit of fucking tools and shit. Yeah, you got to. Steadily growing. Yeah. I was trying to think who... Who else? Like, Mothership, Kelly and Kyle and Judd, those dudes ruled. That band still rips, even though they don't play anymore. There's this band from uh, the Chicago area called Mount Salem. Mm. I think I think I've heard Chicago. of it, but I don't know. They put out one record. It was fuck a badass record though. That band was cool. There's that band Orchid. Yeah, I really I've heard love that too. Orchid. And that's that's, a little, a... that's not quite stoner, like doom metal. I feel like uh, it's a, it's a little, it's heavy. Let's turn that off. It's ruined but the show. <laughs> it's all good, dude. Uh, but Orchid, I, I really love Orchid. Um, Boo Manchu. But again, I don't really consider that a stoner rock band. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Sort of, it's... That's not like desert punk. Yeah. Yeah, it is. There's like all those, like Brant Bjork and the, what the hell's the name of his band? No, I know what you're talking and about. The low Desert Saviors, or yeah. whatever the hell it is. That band. Really. There's like a subgenres to it and different kind of, I guess. Yeah, that's brands. not really. It's just not really, especially Fu Manchu. It's not really stoner yeah. rock. Like people call it that, but that's just like groovy rock, really. I don't know. I don't know what. It's just def- punk. Yeah. It's really just punk rock. <laughs> Everything's punk rock. Yeah. Zeke. I love Zeke a lot. I don't know if you ever listened to Zeke. I'm going to have to rules. check it out. Zeke is like the opposite of stoner rock. Oh. <laughs> it's like fuel injected, like, minute 40 songs. Nice. Fuck it's yeah. sick. Dude, yeah. I mean, I, I like all kinds of music and shit. I'm not just only listening to fucking Doom. No, you do. It's funny, dude. I've been listening to fucking... No, you only <laughs> listen to dude. I've been listening to Bricks and Dunn. <laughs> like yeah. I'm doing, yeah. Working in the garage and shit. Just whatever. Fucking. Just you out there listening to hardworking man on the UK. <laughs> yeah, dude. Red Dirt, Red Dirt <laughs> Roads. hard hat on for gym. no apparent reason. <laughs> Fuck yeah. No, both my parents listen to a lot of country, so... Yeah. And I used to hate it when I was a fucking kid. I was like, this is shit. But as I've gotten older, I kind of like it, too. Yeah, my parents listen to. Well, my dad listened to country radio like in the nineties, and then my mom, she would kind of skip around, but she was she would listen to like decent shit. They listened to decent shit. Like my dad had this Ted Nugent cassette that was a double album. So nice. it was Ted Nugent, Ted Nugent on one side and the other side was free for all the Heck album. Yeah, dude, yeah. Dude, but we were, we would crank that from start to back. Oh dude. yeah, dude. And, like, the <laughs> That's free a good for one. All, yes. Still sick record. Yeah, man. dude. Whenever, whenever yeah. I do play drums, that's when I love fucking playing along to that record. Oh like yeah, doggy dude. dog and shit. Yeah, it's just got good grooves, dude. The whole thing, yeah, like stormtrooping. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, dude. For yeah, me, it's got all that weird like backbeat shit on it. Yeah, like, where it's just like just weird. It's very odd the way the guy played drums on that record. Yeah, Ted Nugent's like definition rock and roll for me. Yeah, that's pretty high up there. Bob Seger. What's your Mount Mount Rushmore of rock and roll, dude? What's oh, on it? Dude. What do you is that five people? Or is Am it I picking people? people or groups? It could be groups or uh, individuals. Okay, dude. <laughs> Black Sabbath. I'm gonna pick all the fucking generic ones though, but Black Sabbath, Pink Floyd, fucking um pro- Ted Nugent probably. <sighs> Leonard Skinner. Fuck, I don't know about for a fifth. Slayer? Yeah. 
Slayer. Slayer or Metallica. The thing is with Slayer and Metallica both, though, I don't like all their music. For Slayer, dude, I only really fuck with the first album. Yeah. I'm, and Rain Blood. <laughs> dude, people will not like it, but I think Slayer fucking sucks. I can't stand it. Rain Blood! I never oh, could dude. stand that dude's voice. I didn't like any of it, dude. And people just, it's just like, man, I don't get it. It's not my shit, you know? Yeah, Show No Mercy, the first Slayer record's really, I fucking love it. Yeah. But it's like really thrashy and it's got really good riffs and stuff. Yeah. Metallica, I'm like... Yeah, okay. Like, some of it's okay. But some of it's just shit, you know? Yeah. It's I'm easy to get burnt out on, but I love Kill 'em All and, like, fucking Master of Puppets, Ride the Lightning. Yeah, I'm not, like, a, I can't... I if, if you ask me to, like, listen to a whole Metallica <laughs> album, I'd probably have a hard fucking time doing that. <laughs> Damn. For real. Like... That's fair. Uh... If I guess if I had five, is there five people on Mount Rushmore or is there only four? Fucking the Mount Rushmore rock and roll has five. Damn, dude. That's hard. That's a tough one. That's a hard one to think about. Uh, Definitely. I mean, I could just do like. Everything I love, I guess, really, dude, like, I love Detroit music, to be honest with you. <laughs> nice, it's like Ted okay. Nugent, Bob Seger, The Stooges, nice. uh, fucking MC5. Like, those are, that's four bands from Detroit. Damn. But it's also Midwest music, you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah, yeah, that's true. But, I mean, if you went as a whole, if I was going to try to spread the love to make, like, the complete, like, the complete. <laughs> deal it would yeah. probably be the 13th floor elevators it would probably be the mc5 fuck dude definitely skin i'm a huge skinnered mark oh dude <laughs> like you can't get better than that dude I it's, yeah, it's hard to get better than Leonard I Skinner. I just recently got started listening to Leonard Skinner a lot, like in the oh, last couple really? of years. Not like real recent, but like last couple of years, dude. dude I I I could fucking dude Skinner. Have you have you dove into Molly Hatchet yet? Yeah, I mean, I love flirting with disaster, but I haven't like oh, I no, haven't dude. gotten Fuck to that. listen to that the whole Molly Hatchet, dude. You gotta listen to <laughs> Bounty Hunter, dude. Okay, that song rips, dude. Molly Hatchet rules hard. Yeah, dude. We just know that shit because that was like the second. NASCAR anthem of the 90s. <laughs> nice, shit, dude. dude. It was like no, a flirting with disaster. Yeah, and it's got the Frazetta fucking album. Every art. album is a Frazetta art. Yeah. Well, almost every album. Damn. Who's my last ones? What did I say? The Elevators, the MC5, Skinnerd. Damn, dude. That's hard. That's hard to pick. It is tough on I'm the spot. I'm trying to think of, like, what's the most... Like, I had to put Bob Seger on there. I could not put Bob Seger. <laughs> yeah. Because he, he, like, went from, like, 60s garage rock all the way until, like, a couple years ago. Damn. Like, putting out bangers. And people hate on that. They're like, Bob Seger's gay. Nah, Bob Seger. <laughs> Bucks, dude. Bob Seger yeah, dude. I don't know much about Seger. I know night moves, but <laughs> no, dude, that ain't that ain't nothing, dog. You gotta dive deep. I I dive deep on this shit. Yeah, man. Oh, and the last one, I'm trying to think of like a later, like. I mean, you kind of want to say the Ramones, but then I'm like, is that really it? Probably not. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, dude, the Ramones rule, though. Dude, have you ever heard of Dust? Yeah. Dust is really fucking sick. Yeah. Yeah, that was the uh, Homeboy's first band, right? Yeah. Like, before that. Yeah. Yeah. They have that one banger-ass album. Yeah, dude, it's really fucking good. I also for that album, Mark. And then the guy, Frank at Sister Anne's was like, that record sucks, dude. I was like, what? oh, dude, agree to disagree. <laughs> But then I fuck with them because I'm like, the Smiths suck, dude. I hate the Smiths. Oh, good, dude. <laughs> I like the Smiths, but Hannah actually almost did a fucking pick guard for Johnny Marr. Oh, yeah? Yeah, but he's like a fucking douche. Yeah. So it didn't end up happening. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck them. Fuck the Smiths.
Fuck the Union Jack. Uh, yeah, I'm not a big Smiths guy. I am a big Men at Work guy, though. I nice. do like me some <laughs> Men at yeah, Work, dude. though. That's uh, I like the violent. I guess he like some people like the Smiths. I like the violent. <laughs> <laughs> That's weird, dude. From the same era. You yeah. Know what I mean? Yeah. Dude, honorable mention: Foo Fighters. I fucking love the Foo really? Fighters and Dave Grohl. In that my opinion, be an honorable mention. One dude. of the only bands that like still makes good music. I don't yeah. know. Yeah. That's like mainstream, I guess, like radio rock. We went to see the Viagra Boys. They were opening for, uh, was it the Eagles of Death Metal? No. What's the name of that band? What's Josh Holmes' band? Oh, Queens of the Stone Age. Queens of the Stone Age. Yeah. Fuck, that band sucks, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I never they got suck so it. hard. All <laughs> these cool people are like, are you going to go see the Queens of the Stone Age? And yeah, I'm dude. Like, I mean, I was like, I, we're going to be there to see the Viagra Boys, but I don't know how much Queens yeah, of the Stone funny, Age I'll be checking out. Yeah. But dude, I like, as we were there, I was just like, it was like some like MTV mo- Music Awards looking ass set, dude. It was Damn. weird. And then yeah. the guy's all shit housed and he can't barely sing. And it's just like. All I could think of was, like, how are so many cool people? Like, what are they seeing that I'm not? Yeah, I never got into it either. I yeah. don't know. It is funny to go to a show and you're, like, going there for the opener. You spend, like, 30 bucks for your fucking ticket but don't even care about the headline. Oh, it would have been nice if they were $30. Oh, it was even more. Yeah, they were a little more than that. I don't remember what they were. I think they were, like... No, I do remember how much they were because I didn't have any money. And Eric bought them. Oh, nice. But they were pretty pricey for us to just go see the bar. But we fuck, we've been trying to see them, and they never play here. Yeah. So it was like, dude, you gotta go when you can, dude. Gotta go. Yeah, that's sick. I love the Viagra Boys, bro. Viagra Boys, Animal and the Sniffers, Idols, that new Idols record is bitching. A lot of people get weird. They're like, they're on Idols, like that, Michael Myers. It's like, (laughs) <laughs> I'll have to check it out. I don't know, okay, cool. Everybody likes them. There's a reason why. Because they rip, dude. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're sick. It's like that hardcore band from California that everybody... That's like super mainstream now. What the fuck is the name of that band? Oh, Turnstile? Turnstile. Dude, I fucking love Turnstile. Yeah. But their music, <laughs> they can't. kind of changed their sound. Oh, yeah. They a way, lot. They way changed. It used to be like heavy hardcore. And now it they're used to be like, like tough guy hardcore. And now it's like some weird thing, which is cool. <laughs> But I I I never I didn't find out about them until after they had become mainstream. But uh, Idols kind of sounds ex- nice, very similar to, to what they out, did dude. when they started, you know. But I still be listening to rap music too. Nice, I Fuck really yeah. fucks with Vince Staples. That dude rules. That's nice. a good one. I have to check it out. Sometimes I go back and listen to the ICP Great Malenko album. <laughs> yeah, dude, I've heard you talk about it on the show. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> one of your favorites. Dude, it is, dude. The Great Malenko might be one of the greatest rap records ever recorded, dude. Damn. I'll have you to ever listen? Uh, no, I haven't. Dude, tomorrow I want you to get out into <laughs> the, the shop and just great hit Malenko. the Great Malenko. Great Malenko. Ah! 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 <laughs> this whole dude. intro, dude. They're sick, dude. All right. Their whole thing is wild, man. ICP yeah. is crazy. That was like huge where I grew up. Like when I grew up. Slipknot. Yeah. Like there was there was juggalos and maggots. That was surrounded by those people. Nice. And I, I I didn't I didn't mind some of the ICP music mm-hmm. when I was a kid. That album I liked. I wasn't into all of it. Um, but I never got into Slipknot. Yeah, me either. I remember kids, like, they thought it was the shit. And I was just like, yeah, it's not my bag of tea. But, I mean, I don't really like Pantera either. Oh, yeah. And there was never a Pantera guy. I I kind of like vulgar display of power, but. Yeah, I just never got. It's okay. Like, I don't dislike Pantera, but it's just not something that makes me go. Yeah. Dude, France is kind of like Slipknot, though. Hannah I, started listening to fucking new metal, like, ironically. And so now Francis has caught on, and he's into it. He's, yeah. <laughs> he's, dude, what kind of a monster? What's next? Static X? Yeah, yeah, dude, I don't know. Fucking Primer 55? Are you going to get him on that POD? Like, yeah, Cable dude. On that, dog. No, but... I met those guys once when I was working shows. Nice. 
They were weird. They were riding. It was when Razor scooters first came out, and they oh, were like all riding around. Scooters. I was like, that's kind of cool. <laughs> At that time, I was like, Razor scooters are tight. But I was like Damn, 16, dude. and they just came out. <laughs> yeah. Fucking hit a little bunny hop. Yeah. Hit a little bunny hop to a tail flip. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Fuck yourself up. All right, well. Let's see what we got. Did we do it? I think we did it. I don't want to push you too hard. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, I'm. I can keep going, or I'm ready to call when you are. Oh, uh, we can, we can go, we can go longer, baby. Fuck it. I'm just trying to think of what we talk about next. We've covered music. We've covered vanning. Oh shit. We got uh, you know. I don't know. I've had a weird week. Yeah, got a fucking kid skipping school. Obviously, I mean, I've <laughs> rescheduled this with you three different times in the last yeah. three days because I've had. Just a wild time, dude. Just wild shit. Sunday, I think I was just wore out. Yeah, I had gone to the junkyard. Friday, came, you know, two hours away. And do I left at I left at eight in the morning. I didn't get back till after nine o'clock that night. Damn, because I had to go and stop and get Junior and Lawrence, and then I went. uh, To the junkyard Saturday, looking for that van parts and didn't <laughs> find them so then i came back and put the one door on the van and fucked with the went and bought a timing light and messed with the timing and did all this shit and then come sunday it's just like yeah dude I just you just stay busy dude you got a lot of shit going on i do that's why i decided <laughs> not to do the live streaming some more dude yeah i can't do it that's just too much just stick to my own stuff because i got too much going on yeah i try I to do it. too much and now summer's coming up, the van ain't running, and last year, it was like, that's what saved me last year, was having the van. Yeah, dude. Like, going out, meeting you guys at fucking Nolan Road, For dude. the cruise, dude. What's it with There's... Sam's van, dude? Is he gonna uh, fix this thing, or it, what? He's, it's in the shop. He's just, they're having trouble finding parts or some shit for it. I don't know if he's getting uh, the transmission rebuilt or just a new one put in, but... Yeah. It'll be I on the road. Have, I could understand and, why they're having problems finding parts. <laughs> yeah, dude, for real. Um, Kyle's van's still trucking. Yeah. Fucking ready for the summer, dude. I told you not to buy that van, Sam. <laughs> yeah. I did. He should have bought Woody's van. He did. I hate to say it, but after this transmission shit's done, it's going to be the motor. Oh, probably. <laughs> because it had, it had like milky oil, kind of. So. Yeah, hey, I might just need a head gasket then or something. Yeah. We'll see what comes of it. Yeah. Should have bought that van from Woody. Probably He's too been. cheap. <laughs> Better just LS swap it now. Yeah, for real, dude. If I ever have to take the motor out of my van, I'll put a fucking LS in it. You got a pretty fresh motor it. in yours, though. Not too bad. It came out of the El Camino. I don't know what the actual mileage is on it. Probably like a little over 100,000. But This needs a rip and run, all right, though. Yeah, but... It ain't like you drive the shit out of it. We put new rod bearings and shit in it before we put it in the van, so... yeah. Yeah, they got the bronze killer overhaul. Fuck yeah, dude. Our boy Jason. I might go down and see him this weekend, actually. Dang, go visit the fucking compound? Yeah, Eric was gonna go down there. I might roll with him, or we might take my van and... Damn. Get dude, I've never been, and I need to go, because Jason comes Will up here a lot. you hop in the car with us? I might. Roll? Yeah, I might have to. I'll hit all the Eric now. I would love to see all of Jason's fucking cars. I haven't even... I feel like... Seen most of them. Yeah, probably not. He has some rad stuff. I've seen them all, but... Yeah. That junkyard is like, you know... They started crushing cars out there, so... Oh, damn, you gotta get your shit now. You gotta get your shit now. Yeah, we might just have to do that. I need to let Eric know. We gotta figure that out. We need to go down there this weekend. Fuck yeah. See what we can find. <laughs> Sick. Prime pickings at, at old... Dude... Old Jason somehow dealers. finds all the fucking deals. Yeah, dude. He hits me with the weirdest things because I was telling him, like, he's, like, messaging me when I was going to the junkyard. You know what I mean? Out, out at, at my buddy's out. It's a hidden location. That's why I'm not saying okay, where I yeah. was at. But uh, he's like, oh, I I bought out all the tires from this tire <laughs> store there. The same <laughs> yeah, trooper thought it was yeah. real weird when he pulled me over. It's like, what? <laughs> like, in this yeah. random small-ass town, dude, that literally yeah, dude. had a gas station in it that isn't really even ever open. So it's just odd. Yeah, dude. 
He is. He's like, look at these fucking the set of Kragers I got for twenty bucks. Yeah. <laughs> fucking. <laughs> yeah, he pulls better deals than I do. Sometimes I don't be showing you guys my deals though. Just say I, you know. Eric taught me back yeah. in the day when people <laughs> ask you where you got something, you just go the getting spot. The getting spot. You don't tell them where you got it. <laughs> like, you used to piss me off so bad when I was in my twenties. Like, ooh, where'd you find this? The getting spot. Oh, cool, dude. Thanks for thanks <laughs> yeah, for turning dude. me on to that. <laughs> I'll make sure to go by there. Yeah, I'll have to go by. Do they, are, are they in the phone book? <laughs> Fucking Google it. Yeah, Brunskill rules. I'm stoked to do some banding soon. Yeah, I'm gonna go me to too. Torque Fest. Huh. Vintage Torque Fest. I also got to get my shit together to put the car show on this year. Yeah, it's, I'm uh, looking forward to it. Yeah, I know. And this I, time I'm gonna show up early. That's oh, this one time thing, you're not gonna show up. At, that's one thing I'll over? say, dude. That I don't get. <laughs> I'm just gonna. I'll go on the record and say I don't get why car shows are so early sometimes in the summer when it's hot as fuck. It's like, start, why it not? at noon. I know, but that's like the heat of the day. On a Sunday. Why not wait till it cools down a little? Because the bar <laughs> opens at noon. Oh, I see. So you can't, how, how do you, <laughs> how do you block the parking lot? I get, all, okay, I see. All, like, hey, don't open up your establishment. <laughs> Until later. Right. I get it, okay. So it's either <laughs> have the car show or you can't block the road off otherwise. I gotcha. So that's why it's like that. I get it. I might make it the weekend before. Oh. And do it on Saturday. Nice. Okay. Sick. I don't know. I got to talk to Artie. I will be there early. Yeah. I promise. I won't believe the the moon thing. Huh? <laughs> the flyer said noon to moon. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, you were also supposed to help me. <laughs> yeah, dude. And then you said I'm on my way, and you showed up five hours later. Uh, we were waiting for Sam. Yeah, you don't um, wait. I know, I won't. Especially <laughs> for Sam. I know, I won't. <laughs> you guys missed out on all the action. All right, well. Fuck it. Fuck it. This has been another. If you made it this long, congratulations. You survived another riveting edition of Black Magic TV. Sometimes you hear him walking and just like, what are you doing up there? <laughs> yeah. Real weird where you're at Your right now. Your little pitter patter of a dog. Yeah, it's the dog and my kid. All right, guys, you can find Jay, Big Rigs Upholstery everywhere. Yep. I'll link it on there. Hit me up. Hit him up. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, hit the like and subscribe buttons, and check out one of these other videos. We'll see you next time.